Welcome to Wrestling Rampage. Doing another Q&A. Before we get started, I want you to subscribe to our Facebook. Facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wrestling Rampage. Let's get started with this Q&A here. How can WWE sponsor Be A Star campaign against bullying? That's a good question because uh, WWE is one of the biggest bullies I've ever seen in my damn life. Look, back in the 80s and 90s, they bullied these territories, all right? And you're, they would take talent away from these guys. And, and Vince would put money up and say, hey, for example, take AWA off and put me on. I'll give you $1,000 a week, you know, and... To me, that's the biggest bully I've ever seen in my life. Uh, opinion on Austin Aries. Opinion on Austin Aries. A great talent. A great talent. He had great matches with Daniels, Bobby Roode. Even, I haven't seen the match, but I know who was working harder. It was Austin Aries. I've seen this match with Bobby Lashley. And you know Bobby Lashley didn't make it work good. I bet you Aries did. So anything with Austin Aries is gold to me. Top five greatest cruiserweight wrestlers. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho, Chavo Guerrero, and I have to put Kid Cash. Um, what are some of the underrated feuds? Some of the un underrated feuds. One, I got to put, this was in Ohio Valley Wrestling in 2003. It was WWE's developmental territory at the time. Doug Basham, which is the machine in OVW, against the Damager, who was Danny Basham. And they had a long, lengthy feud in 03, culminating in a great uh, Leave OVW match. I thought that was an underrated feud. And WWE didn't care about it because it was their developmental territory. And then I have to say, the Hurricane versus The Rock in 02, I think it was. 02 or 03, I can't remember the exact year. I know it was somewhere in there. Uh, where the Hurricane and the Rock, it only lasted like a month. But I thought it was a great feud. The Rock with his Hollywood sellout crap. And the Hurricane who was underrated at the time. So he was like a heat guy. So, you know, Sunday night heat guy. So to me, I thought it was a great feud. And it was very underrated. And then I had to put this as an underrated feud. It's a tag team. Motor City Machine Guns versus Beer Money. These guys had great matches. They brought back and made me become a fan of tag team wrestling again. To be honest with you, with these guys. They were great, great, great matches. If if you haven't seen one of the one of their matches, please check it out. Uh who was the better heel in two thousand and four? Triple H or JBL? JBL most definitely in 04. He had he he was the longest reigning SmackDown WWE champion. He had great matches with Booker T, The Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero. You know, he was on fire in 04. It was hard to get that title off of him. Except for when Batista got him in WrestleMania 21. And and that's when he went in the shitter. Who has John Cena actually buried? Oh, he's buried a lot of guys. I don't want to hear that shit. He buried... Wade Barrett at Survivor Series. They wanted to put the Nexus over. John Cena's like, no. Edge and Jericho were saying, you're making the wrong decision. You're making the wrong decision. Oh, uh, let me get ddt on the floor and kick out at two. Like he always does. And, uh, and then he buried fucking Chavo and Ray when they had a great match in Mexico. They wanted to be the main event because it was in Mexico. And fucking John Cena goes, no, I'm the main event. I'm the WWE champion. What happened? They had a great fucking match, and it should have been the main event because that's what the Mexican people wanted. And but no, John Cena with his fucking fucking ass. I hate him. You're the worst talent I've ever seen in my fucking life. And then you bury fucking Michael Bennett for because Crime Time wanted to get him over and get over with the fans, get the fans mad because he did this. And fucking and fucking John Cena comes up to him and says, "If you ever do that again, I'll break every finger on your hand." You know, that's called burying somebody. Uh, and then, and then, he does the same thing with Tyler Rex. 
Remember the burning hammer he did, the reverse F.U. John Cena come up and told him, if you ever use that move again, I'm, I'm going to get your ass fired. So there, there you go. He buried Kenny Dykstra. He cheated on Kenny Dykstra's girl and made Kenny Dykstra fired. There you go. Should WWE do a Strictly Legends pay-per-view once a year? Yes, because I think the Legends will have better matches than the WWE guys now. I'd rather see a Coco Beware match, to be honest with you. You know, I think, look, WCW did that in, with their Slamborees. They brought, had a few Legends matches, you know. It was good to me. Why did WWE... In 1994, bring back guys like King Kong Bundy and Bob Backlund, but then they called themselves the New Generation. That's a very good question. I don't know why they brought those old farts back in 94 and they were supposed to call themselves the New Generation. I, I don't see how it's the New Generation when you got King Kong Bundy and Bob Backlund in there. I, I don't know what Vince was thinking there. I guess, to Vince's knowledge, that's the new generation, old farts. I don't know. Why doesn't WWE sign AJ Styles? Well, he was going to be... AJ Styles is a hell of a talent. I don't see why WWE don't want him. But in my opinion, I don't think they want him. Because they, he did say no to him in 01 uh, when he uh, said that he didn't want to be in developmental territory, didn't want to move to Kentucky. and uh, But but same token, he d why did you want to move to Florida if you didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to go to the, the Universal Studios, where the home of WCW version 2 is. And uh, I've got a question here. I, heard, I saw this YouTube video of Bruce Blitz being a wrestler. Okay. Uh, and I watched it. Alright, Bruce, I got a question for you. You said you were part of the ring crew in WWF. So, did Pat Patterson come at you? Were you part of his cream team? And, uh, and you got pictures with wrestlers. So do I. I got pictures with wrestlers. It don't mean I'm part of the fucking ring crew. You jock-sniffing son of a bitch. It don't mean I'm part of the ring crew. And, I seen, uh, another video, uh, you, uh, you fucking, uh, did, you didn't even know who the fuck Kurt Angle was. Where the fuck have you been, Bruce? You don't know who Kurt Angle is. Where the fuck you been? Under someone's ass? You been up someone's ass? Is that where you been, Bruce? And, uh, and then I saw this other YouTube thing where this guy disagreed with you. You just shut your YouTube channel off. You just shut the video off. Oh, because he didn't agree with you. Who cares, Bruce? God damn, I don't want to hear your ass for four hours talking about John Cena. Uh, if, if I want to hear that, fuck, I'll bury him right here. And and so, fuck you, Bruce. You cream team motherfucker. Go to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Go to Facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage. Go to our Twitter at Russell Rampage. Thank you for watching. Fuck you, Bruce Blitz.